Okay, so this will be a quick video on how to use the Ask What's Your Name and Wait uh, block here. It's in the sensing. Now I do want to start with an event here, so we'll just start with the basic uh, when that flag is clicked. Now we'll put this in here and we'll, we'll just say what's your name, why not? Now the fact is when it, it lets you type something in and then it will save it under answer. Now I'm going to click this just to have it up there to show how what is typed in will actually go in there. You really don't have to have that checked, but we'll have that. Now, then we could make it pretty simple. We could use a say, and now if I just put in the answer, so this is a variable you can just drag, then it will say the person's name. Now, we could also be a little bit more creative and have it say more things. Now, the fact is we can only put one, either the variable or the words there. So we're going to go to this. In the operators, they have this wonderful join hello world. And we're going to put that in there. That basically lets us do two things. You could even throw another one in there just for the heck of it. We'll do that. Now we can add three things. So it'll say hello. And then we will have it say the person's name. Hello, Bob. Um, and then we'll say, nice to meet you. Whoops. All right. So let's see if it works. Click on that. What's your name? And we'll put in old Bob. And notice it will fill that in up there. There's Bob. And it will also say, hello, Bob. Nice to meet you. Now you'll notice that went a little bit too quick, and I probably could have put in a space here, but other than that, it worked pretty well. So that's how you could use the Ask What's Your Name just to use for something like this, also good for things like a quiz.